Welcome to Amplify, the Chesapeake Public Schools podcast. Chesapeake Schools is located in the Hampton Roads area of Southeastern Virginia. We serve 40,000 students in 45 schools and three centers. This podcast is designed to tell the stories behind our story and to introduce and celebrate the people and programs that make us one of the premier school districts in Virginia. All right, welcome back, Amplifiers. This is Matt Graham here with... Richie Babb. And that's we, our listeners. They're called Amplifiers, Amplifiers thanks to yeah. Alyssa May. Yeah, yeah right. She, she named all of our fans... That's our fandom. Our fandom. Apparently it's called. <laughs> is Amplifiers, and she's the president. <laughs> she is. She is she the number. She is definitely the president. Yeah. Number one. Well, so happy yeah. speaking with her in the last episode and celebrating all of our teachers. And now we are in graduation season. Oh, man, I know, right? That's yeah. right. And yeah. you just had your daughter uh, graduate from William & Mary, she right? She did, yep. Yeah, graduate from William & Mary. She wants to go to vet school. So she's going to take a year off to work in a vet office because you have to have that experience to put on your application, and then we'll, we'll go from there. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah my yeah. Um, sister-in-law just graduated from high school. Okay. Yep. Up in okay. New, up in New York, she's happy. Uh, she went to two proms. You know, wow. I, or maybe it's in the. Fa- I went to three. It was great. I loved our senior class. And as we're getting into this episode, it just makes you think about those times together. It seems like at the end of your high school season, at least for me. Like your class just sort of comes together right near the end. Yeah. You know, yeah. it really it is does. Interesting, right. Yeah, I agree. And so, and that's been the case. I mean, yeah. I think it was like that when I was in high school, like you get it to the end and it's almost like some of those friend groups sort of start to dissolve. Right. And you end up like feeling like one big class Correct. instead of, yeah. 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 I don't know if any of our listeners felt the same way, but that's, that's definitely true here. Yeah. But we are celebrating our seniors today. Over 3,000 seniors are graduating from Chesapeake Public Schools. Yeah. Each one has a story, right? Yeah. And well, and you know, we always say our goal here is to provide the stories behind our story. And we're fortunate today that we get to meet seven of those graduates and to hear their stories. Right. We were lucky enough to have one graduate from each school come in and they shared some of their favorite high school memories, gave some advice, shared some of their future plans and endeavors. So uh, we hope you enjoy it and take a listen. I'm Myra Nixon, senior from Great Bridge High School, and um, I'm looking forward to graduating, and my future plans are to wrestle at Morgan State University. One of the best memories I had was wrestling for the team, honestly, at Great Bridge, because it taught me a lot of valuable lessons that carried like throughout all of high school, you know, and it helped me become more disciplined and more focused in school and everything. Another one of my memorable moments was winning my first state title. I mean, my second one was good too, but the special thing about my first one was I overcame like a lot of adversity the previous year leading into that. And then even during the year I won it, you know, I had to beat two kids that I previously lost to earlier that year. So it was just like a big deal for me to win it because I worked so hard just to get that first state title. And um, my second one, that was very, you know, I was I was very proud of that one because the way I did it, you know, I tech fought and pinned everybody in my bracket for my second state title. So that. That was great for me. Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm graduating from Deep Creek, go Hornets, and I will be attending Virginia Tech as a member of the Corps of Cadets. Uh, I had shown interest my junior year, and then there was this crazy good scholarship that they could put me up for, which is full ride, uh, room and board, cadet stipend, and then you get an automatic commission as an O-1 in the Air Force afterwards. So they, they really wanted me to do that. They thought that would be a great idea for me. And uh, I, w- I, wanted to, I wanted to do aerospace engineering. So, you know, the Air Force is already a great avenue to, to do that. And tech being one of the best engineering schools in the country, it was just kind of, it kind of all fell into place. Advice I give to freshmen would be just don't start any drama. Drama really weighs you down in doing a lot of stuff and just being happy. It's not gonna help you do anything. And really, if you just do your work, a lot of people always come to me and complain about how their grades are so bad and then they have like 10 missing assignments. So if you just do your work, you're gonna pass high school and you're gonna be okay. 
I'm Ben Ricks. I'm graduating from Western Branch High School. Go Bruins. Um, after high school, I plan to do a little bit of both, college and trade school. I'm going to ODU for four years to get my degree in business management. I'm doing that online, so during the day, I'll be doing an apprenticeship in trade school at the same time. For the trade school, it's an electrician apprenticeship. I'm their youngest apprentice, so it's a four-year program that's completely paid for because I kept up with my grades. And pretty much once I finish that, I'll have my degree and I'll be able to advance higher and higher into the company and eventually I'll be able to start my own company. My best tennis memory is probably my best high school memory. We were playing at Kellum. I kind of went in expecting to get crushed and I won the first set 6-1. I was like, oh, okay. Then I lost the second set and I'm down 0-4 in a tie break. I probably hit the best shot of my life and I went on to win eight points in a row to win the match. and. That's probably the best feeling I've ever had in my life. And I just loved it, and that will probably be my best high school memory. A lot of high school was hard doing all the work because I took the hard way. I wanted to get it done, get a bunch of college credits. And I did it, and I'm proud I did it because I'm going to school for free, so I'm really happy. Hello, my name is Ashley Bell, and I'm graduating from Indian River High School. Next year, I'm going to Columbia College Chicago to major in musical theater in their selective BFA program. Indian River High School's music program is absolutely phenomenal. My choir teacher, Miss Letson, has been the most helpful person that I could have possibly asked for. She has stayed after school to give me lessons to work privately with me so that I can be more prepared for when I go out on my own and she's taught me so much not about not only about music but also about how to talk to people and how to conduct myself. Some advice that I would say every freshman needs to take is don't worry so much about how you're perceived by others because everyone is also as worried about themselves as you're worried about yourself and no one's thinking that you're weird just be you and you'll find the right people. Well, we're not finished. Uh, we still have three more graduates you're going to get to meet. We hope you're enjoying getting to meet our seniors and to hear their stories. That's right. And be sure to visit cpschools.com forward slash graduation for all of our graduation resources, including photo galleries, live streaming, and more. And now let's get back to hearing from our seniors. My name is Will Cozart, and I'm graduating from Hickory in June. Um, I'm in the National Honor Society. I'm in the Environmental Club. I am Spanish Honor Society. So I'm in a few clubs, enjoy them all, and then also I work on the side as well. I'm going to be attending ODU in the fall for four years, maybe three if I can get, get through and three. And then I'm planning on studying biology. Um, haven't decided on a minor yet, but um, probably something health-related, and then uh, hopefully med school after that. So. So I started volunteering at Norfolk Sentara, the hospital. We have some family friend that he's a doctor over there, and I really just found like a passion for it, a love for it. Pretty crazy, but it's fun, and that's that's what I like about it. It's, you can never tell what's gonna come to the door next. So that's that's the fun part about it. So, um, Mr. Klein, he was my AP Biology teacher. He was the first teacher that I was really able to like actually connect with. He uncovered my passion for biology too the way he taught it you know, he it was a grueling class but he really pushed me ahead and you know told me to believe in myself and he was you know my favorite teacher that I've had you know and it's something I enjoy so we share that we share that passion for biology so that you know that was easy to get along with as well hi I'm Isabel Maholsky I will be graduating from Grassfield High School this uh, this 2024. And I plan to transfer to UVA, where I will pursue behavioral neuroscience on a pre-med track. Something positive about Grassfield is just the community, honestly. The students are great, but the teachers are just amazing. They're so passionate there, and they really, really care about how their students are doing beyond grades and beyond academics. And that's something that I've found very comforting. The teachers there really show the students that it's more than just that. They help them, they help give them an experience that helps them discover more about themselves, more um, about life and the things that they love to do. And then one of the 
most important teachers to me that I will forever be grateful for. She is kind of like a second mother to me is Miss Paula Dubique Myers. She is the host for the health medicine club that my friend and I founded. And she is just, she's like a guardian angel to me. Um, she has supported me through everything. She believes in me and she's just, she's motivated me in a way that no one else has. And she's someone that I can really find comfort in, someone I feel safe with. She's always there to provide unwavering support and she gives the greatest advice. And she's just so kind and so sweet and so, so passionate and driven about what she does. She is a model for how teachers should be. I love her so much. So shout out to Ms. Paula Dubik Myers. My name is Aaliyah Price. I am graduating from Oscar Smith High School. Um, I plan on going to Morgan State, majoring in civil engineering to play basketball. I remember being in the sixth grade, I believe, and my mom put me in a STEM program at Norfolk State University. And I was like, she, you know, she always asked me, well, you know, what do you want to do? You have to look for the future. And I'm like, mom, I don't know. It's just the sixth grade. I don't know. And when she put me in a program, it was like the robotics and the mathematics in it. I was like, yeah, I might got to go down this down this path because at first I wanted to be a doctor until I really seen what you know doctor doctors really do and all the blood and stuff and I was like yeah nope that's not for me it's not for me I'm gonna be more on the technical side love my basketball season we got a new coach this year and he really enforced the team bonding so getting along with your teammates outside of basketball so that was pretty great my mom and my coaches those are like the two important people in my life they've invested in me inside and outside of school through basketball, through out of basketball. So definitely those two. So we hope you enjoyed getting to meet a few of our seniors and hearing their stories. And we just want to say congratulations to all of our graduates and we wish them the best in their lives after high school. 